my view of Bitcoin right now. Hi, it's Charlie giving you today's video. So I've got a daily chart up of Bitcoin, but let's um, just reflect a little bit on what's been going on here. Obviously, there's a lot of speculation with regards to the spot Bitcoin ETFs um, applications that are sat over there at the SEC, Grayscale being probably the top one, but plenty of others. I think there's about 13 maybe um, that are, are sat there on their desk. So uh, there's a lot of speculation that the SEC is gearing up to a granting um these ETF uh, approval of these applications and potentially all of them um, get approval all at once. Um, we'll have to see. There's been a Bloomberg article out about that just in the last 24 hours and that's possibly why Bitcoin's just leapt up again um, here today. So that's fine in the, in the short term and that's why Bitcoin has um, in the last few weeks started to accelerate back higher. If we go to the weekly time frame, we can really start to get a sense of uh, the move that it's had. Uh, earlier, just you know, a few months ago, I'd have loved it to have just clipped my, at least clipped my weekly 50 moving average. Never managed to do that. But nevertheless, we knew that it was making these um, breaching the last uh, lower high here, the larger lower high, um, and it started making um, higher low, higher highs here. And so from a technical perspective, that's fine. So what's my view right now? Well, I do believe that the the launch of the ETFs will should be positive for um, the likes of Bitcoin because, of course, it makes Bitcoin much more accessible to the masses. So mum and pop America or UK or Europe, anywhere um, you can buy an ETF from, um, then has easier access to buy something like Bitcoin than they currently do, which is not as easy. Um, it's fine for the younger generation, but for an older generation, opening up a um, uh, an exchange account, you know, putting Bitcoin onto a, a cold wallet and all of that stuff that's associated with that is a little bit more tricky than just buying an ETF, which is sat within someone's pension, for example. So the longer term press prospects for Bitcoin are really good. And in fact, I believe that Bitcoin could well breach its all time highs at some point in the next couple of years. Whether it will do it next year, who knows? You never know with cryptos, but um, but certainly in the next couple of years. So I do see that that potential longer term for with the amount of demand that could end up being there as a result of these ETFs. Now, one thing that I would always say is if you're ever going to invest into anything, then of course, you do not bet the house. People have done that over the years in the in the crypto markets and have come a cropper. Um, so you always have to respect your risk management and your asset allocation to any one given asset class. Um, because these is it's funny how things materialize that they don't always go where you think they're going to go. So as always, you would have it there as a um, a portfolio as part of your portfolio, so to speak. If you take Paul Tudor Jones as an example, he's got what one or two percent of his portfolio sat in Bitcoin, and so not ninety eight percent, and the rest of his trading is done elsewhere. So it's that type of philosophy that I think is uh, uh, is good to have some exposure to the market. Um, but for most longer term investors, if you go and put all your eggs in one basket, what you'll find is um, it so often will be the case that we've seen it over the years. Um, uh, most people, in fact, in crypto, 80% of people who have got involved in crypto over the years have actually lost money, not made it. Made it for a while and then when it's all come back over, uh, they've lost. So um, treat it that way uh, responsibly and that's the best way to approach these things. Now, um, because it may not go all the way up there. Maybe something else comes along and um, crypto market goes and does something else. So you always have to look at it from a risk perspective. So um, in the short term, though, we've got this pending announcement from the FC, uh, from the uh, SEC. And so if we go back to a daily chart, we, the, the Bitcoin's on a tear in anticipation of that announcement coming. Now, when we see this sort of thing going on in other uh, asset classes like stocks, that so often 
when the announcement comes, you see a, a sell the fact type thing take uh, take case uh, take uh, take place even. So all this built up anticipation, and when the announcement comes, none of us know exactly when that announcement is going to come. And who knows, there might be some contingencies within any announcement yet as well. But even if the announcement comes and these ETFs are approved, then don't be surprised if you see a sell the fact when that comes. It could just jump again, of course, on an announcement. But all I'm saying is don't be surprised to see something like that because it's been... Uh, pumping ahead of that and the to use a you know crypto term <laughs> um, so don't be surprised if it was to be a case of sell the fact and then you're scratching your head well it's because it's all the price has been factored in that that good news potentially has already been factored in by the time the news is released well everyone's already bought some people start selling and banking some profits you know so that sort of thing goes on so my overall view for Bitcoin is in the short term, I think anything could happen, even if that announcement does come in the coming weeks ahead from the SEC and and if they do approve, which is what the speculation is, um, don't think that it's just going to keep going higher and higher at that moment in time. It may well be in the short term a case of sell the fact. But in the medium longer term, talking about over the next couple of years, then of course there's there's more than enough potential that Bitcoin could come back up to revisit its all-time highs at some point in the next couple of years. So that's about twice roughly where it is um, at the moment. But that's my overall uh, thoughts on this market. I think that as always, people get excited because uh, in crypto because some of the altcoins are jumping up by you know if bitcoin's up as i'm recording on the day three percent and uh but you get some altcoins which are jumping up you know much more than three percent in a single day you get a lot of excitement out there and that always concerns me because that's where people get their fingers burnt um so if i can offer any advice um, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Um, as, uh, allocate a small amount of capital to uh, any one given, you know, investment, so to speak, which is speculative. And so see it as that, and see it that yeah, you could do all right on it, but don't bet your farm on it because um, um, too many people we've seen uh, over the years um, lose literally their farms are on um, when it's not done what they thought they that was going to happen there you go just some thoughts on this thursday i'll be back uh, saturday for saturday's video